Hey guys, so today I'm going to take a revisit the frosted glass idea. Um, one thing I figured out that this might be the problem was the fact that I didn't frost it enough. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a moment. Forgive the rusted table I just got here at the yard. It's been kind of foggy. It's got a combination of fog and smoke. Uh, they have a fire over by Carmel Valley that's been throwing smoke over here like crazy. And man. <laughs> okay, so this is the frosted glass that I, that I did last time. Uh, it looks like I got some fingerprints on it or something where it's looks oily but uh, as you can see it's not you can still see through it somewhat and I think what happened I didn't get it uniform enough um, like right here you'll notice that as I pass it in front it gets a little bit heavier and heavier looking so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refrost it a little bit more and see if that will uh, make it where it'll hit, the plastic will adhere a little bit better. So I'm not gonna put you through all the having to watch it again. <laughs> I'll put a link to the, to the original video right there. And uh, you can check that video out. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna blast this and then I will see you back at the house whenever I get done. Talk to you a little bit. Okay, so I got back and I installed the new the newly frosted build plate as you can see it's all you can't see through it near as much as we, what you could before so it's been frosted really good this time um, when I brought it home I took it and I uh, rinsed it under hot water so I can get all the dust from the glass and the sand off of it so it's completely you know cleaned up so everything should stick really good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and level the print bed Make sure everything's all set, and then I will print out a frog that I found on Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the video description, and I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so it took two hours, 49 minutes. Let's see here. Okay, so it, everything adhered to the print bed just right. There's no uh, glue at all on the print bed. It's just the, the frosted glass. And actually, it came right off. I did uh, print at 70 degrees Celsius on the print bed and 200 degrees Celsius for the filament. see how the supports come off I was very interested to see if it adhered to the print bed without glue um, now if you remember right I did do this before with the glass bed the reason why I didn't continue on at that time was because I printed the pink art choke. I was starting to print it at the time, and I had a huge failure. In fact, if you watch the video where I showed the different failures I had, there's the one with the pink art choke, and the pink art choke actually behind the stand popped loose, 
and that's where I start all my problems with my the, the nozzle throat, the nozzles, everything just got all messed up. And, and what's bad is that that time I didn't have any extra parts. And that's one thing I, I learned from that whole experience was order extra parts. Order extra nozzle throats, order extra Teflon tubing, order nozzles, because eventually you're going to have a failure that's going to cause you a lot of problems. And that's where That's the one that taught me a huge lesson. But because of that, I didn't continue using the the frosted bed because I wanted to I wanted to refrost it. I just never had a chance to do it until yesterday. So now that it's a little bit rougher, it seems like it's adhering pretty good. Yeah, I'll work on support material a little bit more. It's a pretty cool little model. Let's see, you can see his little ear and his eyes. <laughs> Uh, support material, I'll take the rest of it loose here pretty soon. This is printed at 0.2 layer height, 20% uh, infill. Once again, it was 70 degrees on the print bed, uh, and uh, 200 degrees on the print temperature. I think it turned out alright. My wife loves frogs, so I think she'll enjoy that. <laughs> Anyway, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.